Hey there, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Um, so yeah, we're going to look into what is your person of interest, the person on your mind thinking about you. And um, please do keep in mind, this is a general reading for many people at once. So please just take what you feel is for you. Feel free to reject anything that doesn't feel to be for you. We have the King of Wands coming out first. Nine of Cups. Someone has a lot of attraction for you. And the Four of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands. So some of you guys could work with this person. I see with the Pentacles coming up here. Um, yeah, I feel like this person, <laughs> it's like a secret crush situation. This person gets really happy to see you. Um, I feel like they really try to go out of their way in order to like see you in person, especially if they're able to. Um, I feel like they are really imagining having some kind of date with you. I feel like they're feeling like things have gotten too routine lately. Um, something is making them very shy, but I feel like this person is trying to get up some more confidence to maybe approach you um, to tell them uh, to tell you of their interest because they're really feeling like the magic and the chemistry with you. So let's see what else came up in these Oracle cards. We have cleanse and rejection so i feel like some of them might have just suffered some kind of rejection and they are trying to kind of get over it um it was like maybe a blow to their ego perhaps even you rejected them and they're trying to try again with you um just kind of admiring you from afar but i feel like most of them are just trying to play it cool play it calm and just try to um see if they can win with you i feel like they really want to win you over kind of like you would make them like the happiest person in the world um if you wanted to move forward with them. Like we have a lot of like just spirit and happiness and passion in the, the cover card here as well. And it's very interesting that this artist or deck author chose green for a passion card. Usually you see like orange, red, yellow for passion. So I feel like this person is very much uh, emotionally happy when they see you as well. So their passion is especially in their heart for you. All right. And then we have opposition balance. So we have like Libra coming through here, possibly. Um, this person does feel that you you two are like, it's definitely an opposites attract situation here. And, um, or you guys could have opposite zodiac signs, you know, like A Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, um, Scorpio, one of those. Taurus, Scorpio is especially a good combination. And here's sisters, friends, confidants, family you choose. So this person could even be like trying to figure out if you'll fit in with their family or with their current friends. Um, I Some of them might be talking to a sister in particular about you or with a good female friend. Um, they've been really trying to maybe kind of like... Um, kind of smoothly, uh, uh, kind of casually mention you and see how they react. Because I feel like this person's still kind of trying to be kind of secretive with these big feelings that they have for you here. All right, so we have choice, free will, courage, willpower, and change. This person might be really trying to decide what, um, like how they want to impress you, what they want to like announce to you. They want to like announce something to you is what I'm feeling here as well. We have a liberator, um, freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. That looks like this uh, rejection and cleanse. So this could also be a message for you, number three, that maybe there is some like deep seated rejection that you've been feeling. Um, it might not even be in love. It might just be you feel rejected like by the world or by friends or sisters even and family and it's time to like liberate yourself from those feelings of rejection. This could be a real turning point for you. So some of you might not even be all that interested in this person who is thinking about you. Um, but um, I, I feel like there is someone like really strong who wants to show up for you and meet you where you are. Number three, I feel like you deserve someone really strong. And then we have the student card. Um, humility and devotion to knowledge, openness to lifelong learning. So I feel like this person is maybe even trying to figure you out, read you like a book, almost like they see you as someone who is closed off and is a mystery. Maybe someone who's working so hard toward their goals and they're like, man, can you share some of your secrets with me? Can you help me make some of this magic in my life that you've been making in yours? Um, maybe some of them just graduated as well. Like they're liberated from like college, school, whatever it is. And they're like ready to like make a new choice in life. And they might want to figure out, hey, are you going to be able to fit into my new life with me? You know, do you want to join me like as my really close like family person? 
Okay, here's goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. And Eagle, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. So number three, I feel like this is saying you guys are on a really good path in life. So I really am getting the feeling that you guys are kind of casual about what this person is thinking about you. And here's Elephant. Nice. This is the, hey, I'm going to get through all these obstacles no matter what card with Vulture. Whoa. Okay. So I'm getting like, you guys are getting so successful that you might be attracting people who are opportunists and just want to take advantage of you. So it's really important for you guys to stay on the straight and narrow and stay on the path that you know is best, best for you. Um, stay on the path, the path with people who really have your back. Okay. I do see that this person um, is very, very much interested in you with this nine of cups here. And here we have options. So this is interesting because this is balance and balance here. It says, consider the career possibilities that are open to you. All right. So yeah, it's almost like this is a career reading for you. Number three, more than a love reading. Also, yeah, work was coming through here. So I feel like this is just saying you guys do have a lot of options in love and in your career as well. So set your sights really high and don't give up on your dreams. Um, especially with the student card here. I feel like you guys have really learned enough to really get going in with your life now. You guys are on the right path. So let's see. We're going to see what else is this person thinking about you. Let me see. Just what do you feel about this person? I feel like this person represents several people. So we have the four of swords, time for non-action. So take a break, healing, recalibrate, isolation, going within silence. So it does look like you guys are maybe not really interested in starting anything serious right now at all. Um, so I feel like maybe it's kind of like mildly amusing and entertaining that this person is really into you. I, it almost feels like the more disinterested you are, the more they're into you, the more that they want to figure out like what is making you tick. Like they're really interested in you. All right, but it feels like you're pretty neutral. Like there's no emotional charge. So you're not super happy, but it's also good because I don't see like a really negative reaction here either. It looks like you are working on cleansing yourself from anything bad in the past. All right, so how are they viewing you? How are they viewing you? Number three, how is this person viewing you? We have the six of coins giving and receiving. They see you as um, like someone, here's balance again, someone who is like the perfect complement to them. Um, they feel like you guys would make like a perfect match. I feel like they really feel like you would um, really like pull your weight in any kind of situation. Like they see that you don't take advantage of people. You're really independent and you can really make the magic happen. And you're, they're like, you are my counterpart. So they see you as the queen of wands to them being the king of wands, I feel. Here's Pioneer, Leo. So they feel like you have this really original and unique spirit to you. They might also just see that you guys are doing something new, like something that they've never seen anyone else do before. Um, maybe they also think it's interesting the places you travel to. And I feel like they just really are really interested in learning more from you. You have a lot to, te to teach this person. <laughs> okay, so how do they view the relationship between you two? So I feel, again, this is more of like a crush or an interest type situation than it is like a really established relationship, just kind of casual friendship. Here's the devil, strings attached. So this is interesting because I was feeling um, like not a heavy connection here. So this could mean that they just are very, very tempted to you. You're a huge temptation to them. Um, like they can't like almost obsess <laughs> with you. Like they really have their eyes on you. So I'm kind of taking the, a little bit lighter interpretation of the devil here. How else are they viewing this relationship? Okay. Yeah, they, they just can't get you off of their mind. Wow, interesting. Look at this beautiful card. I don't know if this has come up very much. Um, we have Pisces here, flamingos, soulmates, lovers, union, courtship, dating attraction, long-term potential. So, oh my gosh, je ne sais quoi. So, okay, you just have this amazing f it factor or something to you that they might see you as like, that's my future spouse. You know how some people just look at someone and they're like, that's the person I'm going to marry one day. I feel like that's how they feel about you. Um, okay. 
There could be something in the way here, though. And with these rings even showing up on the bottom of the deck, wow, Gemini, yeah, counterpart. Yeah, that's what I was literally feeling like. Yeah, they see you as their counterpart, like-minded people, um, committed partner. So strong connections. Yeah, they just feel you're incredibly strong and you are extremely worthy of being their partner, like their partner through life. This person is highly impressed with you. Okay, so what do they like most about you? Number three, so you're really a real catch to this person. Oh, how beautiful. We have Leo showing up again. Here's the sun, radiant energy. So they just love the energy, the vibe that you radiate. Um, they see you as a very positive person. This is something they love about you. They like your creativity. They like that you just seem so free. Yeah, with this liberator card that you don't have anything holding you back, that you're just like going your own way, this pioneer card, and you're not afraid to. So what else do they love about you? Um, Leo showing up again. Curtain call. So whether you guys are Leo or not, they just like your... They You give off a lot of um, Leo qualities, this person. So they see you as someone who is like star material, like royalty, basically. Um, someone who should be famous. So maybe you are kind of famous and like they like that about you. Um, so I feel like they also like that you really capture their attention. They never want to take their eyes off you. Um, like with this king of wands here. So I feel like this person could be kind of bored with other people, but you're keeping them super interested. And I feel like that's why they don't want to let up. It's like, they don't want to give up here with this elephant showing up. Okay. So what do they like most about this relationship between you two? Okay. Again, I wasn't feeling too much of a relationship here. Okay, we have the four of cups, self-serving disinterest, missed opportunities, bored. So yeah, they do like that you guys are keeping them interested, keeping them on their toes. Again, I feel like they've been kind of bored with um, a lot of past relationships or a lot of people around them. And you are really spicing things up here. Um, bored with life in general. So they just really, really like that you make them feel, you make them feel very alive. Um, wow, cake, celebration, Aries. How much fire is coming through this reading? My gosh. And the Four of Wands is a celebration card as well. Um, gathering with friends and family, party. So some of you guys might have um, met this person at a family party even. Um, some kind of like neighborhood get together or work celebration or this person got to know you more there. We also have graduation coming through here again. Um, wedding, anniversary, prom, birthday, award ceremony. Okay, interesting. So they what they like with you also, if you guys didn't meet at an event like this, they feel like whenever they're around you, it's a fun time. Like it's a big celebration time. Like it's a, a big milestone or something. We have a lot of like um, pink and like just uh, very radiant colors coming through. Okay, so what do they wish was different between you two? We have the Page of Wands, Energetic Powerhouse. I feel like they wish that they had maybe more like... Um, more to give you like, or more to like show off <laughs> like in front of you with. Um, they feel like they're not as talented as you, I feel. And um, yeah, they, they feel like um, they need to have some more exciting plans going on. Okay, let's see here. What else do they wish was different? We have this coffin card here. So they might be going through a really, really hard time in life right now. Or perhaps this is someone you already did reject. Um, number three. And I feel like they are just like, shoot, you know, I need to figure out a way to be more interesting. That could be, maybe they have evolved into this king of wands. Maybe they went from a page of wands to a king of wands. They did mature and grow up some. So I feel like they have been trying to work on themselves to become someone better for you. Um, with this like cake and family card coming through, I feel like this could be someone from um, quite a long time ago that maybe you knew when you were growing up and they're like, hey, you know, look at me now. Okay, so are they planning to take any actions towards you, number three? King of Wands, look at that page, the king, natural born leader. So to me, this is a yes for sure. This person wants to make something happen. This person wants to impress you. I feel like they just want to be seen with you. They really want to like show you off to other people, especially like to their family. I feel like they feel like 
You would make a good fit with their family or their family would be happy that they were with you. Okay, here's this Wolverine. <laughs> Fears unpredictable. Yeah, this person, um, yeah, I feel like they are pretty determined to make some kind of move towards you. Um, I feel like they're still trying to figure it out. They don't have like a super solid and steady plan just yet, but yeah, they do want to take some actions towards you. Okay, so how often do they think of you, number three? We have the Queen of Coins, Consummate Hostess. So um, I feel quite often because I feel like anytime they see someone like who seems like a worthy um, individual to be like a partner to them, I feel like that makes them think of you. It, this could even be like their mother reminding them, hey, it's like it's time to get married or, it's, or why aren't you dating someone? <laughs> or even like their mother or another like female figure in their life is um, like talking about you and reminding them of you like, oh, they would be a really good fit for you. Um, here's temperance, perfecting balance. So yeah, it's this is interesting. We have union of opposites, opposites here because we also have the oppositions here. So I feel that um, if they do think about you, it's not like constantly, but yeah, you come up in their mind often enough and it's almost like they just kind of want to ease like this person's mind that keeps bringing you up. I really do feel like this mother or aunt or grandma is like, you know, really talking you up or something. All right. Or sister. Because they, they want this person to grow up. So what are their most um, frequent thoughts about you? Actually, I was gonna get one more card on how often do they think of you? Anything else on that? Gossip only hurts more. Wow. Yeah. So that kind of confirms like anytime um, there's like a lot of people talking about you to this person and that that's why they think about you even more than they normally would is because people are bringing you up in conversation. I don't feel it's in a bad way in this situation. I feel like this is just a confirmation that other people are talking about you to them. It like actually trying to encourage them to go after you and pursue you. This could even be like their boss. Like if you guys are in like a coworker situation, Okay, so what are their most frequent thoughts about you, number three? So this is an interesting reading because I don't think I've ever really had one like this before. It kind of feels like a movie or something. Yeah, I, I do feel like you guys could, um, you or they or both could be actors here. Ten of Swords, the final chapter. So maybe you guys did cut off communication at some point. We have the final chapter here, um, especially, or it could even be that maybe you or they got divorced or there was a breakup or something, and then maybe that freed you up. Um, or they they just have fear of like repeating a very painful ending. It could be some, like with this rejection that keeps coming up for them. They're like, I really, really don't want to be rejected by number three. I don't want to go through this pain again. So this could be an X for a few of you, but I feel it's more of, um, hey, I'm available now, or hey, number three is available now. Let's see what's going on. All right. And you are right. <laughs> so maybe you told them something in the past and now they're like, they're realizing just how right you are about something. And I feel like they were maybe kind of selfish in the past or something. And yeah, maybe they're like, you're right. Yeah, I was being selfish. So yeah, I do feel like some kind of growing up here and um, this mother or sister or someone like that might have talked some real sense into them. Okay, so what is hard for them to express? What is hard for them to express? Three of Wands, manifest your dreams. So their plans for the future, maybe their vision for an ideal relationship. So anything else here? Big developments. So I feel like they don't really like to reveal their plans to too many people. Maybe it's just even hard for them to think about their future. That's what could have caused some of an issue with them maybe making a lot of progress in their life up to this point. Oh, wow. Here's paralyzing fear. So anxiety, fear, paralysis, fear is holding you back. I feel like they do not discuss just how much they do have a fear of the future, how much they ha they do deal with anxiety. Um, let's see. Anything else here? We have pure seduction and far apart. So I do feel like this person um, really feels you even from a distance. Like they do not forget about you is what I'm getting here. All right. And let's see, let me get a few more Oracle cards on what is hard for them to express to you or in general. 
conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so there is some kind of like ending that they went through um or they're just like really afraid of something ending um maybe like if you guys have a job together or something they're afraid of that ending they're afraid of a future without you is what i'm feeling here like maybe you guys are moving on or you're going to start moving away or traveling for work or something this scares them Here's never ending story and I feel like they also want to make sure you're always like part of their life. Something else that they don't really like to admit or express because they just can't stand the idea of ever losing you. And here's the Raven, magic coincidence, synchronistic events. So maybe they have noticed some interesting things happening with them um, and they kind of just like brush it off. They try not to think too much into it. All right, so what do they most want you to know, number three? Here's the Knight of Swords, Carpe Diem. So talkative. It's almost like they want to hear anything you have to say. They're okay with that. They want you to like give it to them straight, tell them the truth. They really like that about you. They like that you don't lie to them. They like that you know what you want. This really makes them feel a lot safer. Um, here's transformation, number 19. Also, I feel like this is them saying like, hey, I've grown, grown up and they're also proud of like all the growing you have done, all the success you've been achieving in your life. Let's see what else we got. What else do they most want you to know? We have contract. Here's this balance thing coming out again. So maybe they just signed some kind of contract. They're feeling better about themselves. Um, or maybe they're proud of you for signing some kind of contract. Let's see. This could have something to do with marriage, but that might be for just a few of you. Um, maybe they just got out of a contract, some kind of contract that is going to free them up. So anything else we need to know about this contract? Some kind of contract terms have changed. Um, here is eight of coins reversed over and over. So, yeah, I feel like there was something this person was bound to that was very boring for them. All work, no play, repetitive, not delivering. And um, their energy is like freed up now or they're working hard at freeing themselves from something that was a bit very monotonous, that was maybe draining their energy and making them unable to really pursue you or like bring bring the fun times to you. Okay, and then we have status quo. Very interesting. That's like that eight of coins reverse there. This person is like so afraid that they are not gonna be able to entertain you enough. They are going to become way too boring for you. Um, so I feel like this is what makes them like kind of nervous and edgy sometimes and not able to like sit down and have like more of a serious conversation with you because they're just so afraid you're gonna get bored of them. And like, they really don't want to lose you. Um, consciousness of lack on the bottom. I also feel like they are like, I'm not sure if I have enough to give you as well. All right. So let's get a little bit of advice for you. We'll get some messages from them as well. Advice card for number three. Then we'll go into the extended reading. Oh, okay. Um, Apophyllite. It says, increase support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. Like I told you guys, you guys are on a really successful path. Like with this eagle and this goals card, the elephant that came through, there's a lot of like really good omens coming through here, I feel like. So I feel like this is saying, don't worry. You have maybe more money, more um, people in your social network coming to help you. Universe really wanting to support you here. Okay, what is their hidden truth? What is this person's hidden truth? I wish things could be different. Especially with themselves. They're trying to figure out how to change themselves to be better for you. All right. Or maybe they wish they could get out of whatever this contract is here. So, shadow message and a light message from them. The closer I get to you, the more fearful I become. 
this is someone who maybe hasn't had like a really deep relationship before or they just had one that was like really difficult and they're like I don't know if I can do that again um, when we lock eyes we see each other's soul it is beautifully intense All right, I regret what happened, especially if you guys had that cut off in communication. I feel like for a few of you, they did something kind of stupid or something, and they're trying to win you back over or be like, prove something to you. I feel like they really have been um, like coached into becoming a better person. So if it wasn't by like family members, um, it could have been like by some kind of mentor. Like I was just feeling like a pastor or some kind of teacher or coach. Um, I have a lot on my plate. And my heart belongs to you. And then here is I want you as well. Yeah, it really looks like that with this nine of cups, king of wands here. They know you make them very happy. All right, let's get a love note from them. What is their love note to you? Ouch. All right, we tread a path of infinite meaning together. All right, so this person finds a lot of meaning with you. That's really beautiful because um, I do feel like they feel like a very strong bond with you. Like you guys do have like this family connection um, where it really seems to last for a long time that, you know, they feel like they're someone, you're someone who they can really rely on. Um, you're someone that they always want to have in their life. And they're finding that to be very special. All right.